Bye TV Drama Innocence Season 2 premiered on Monday night, introducing us to the new, standalone storyline and innocent cast and characters. Catherine Kelly leads the cast as former English teacher Sally Wright, who has spent the past five years in prison for a murder she did not commit. At the start of episode 1, her conviction is overturned and she's released. She returns to her hometown in the Lake District and is determined to win back her ex-husband, Sam, who divorced her two years into her prison sentence. But, if Sally Wright didn't commit murder, then there remains a new question for Di Mike Braithwaite to solve, who killed Maddie Taylor? And is Sally Wright guilty of something else besides outright murder we've unpacked tonight's installment, breaking down some of the key questions? and theories that have come up after the events of Innocent Episode 1. Innocent creator Chris Lang has already stated that, unlike Season 1, this time viewers will know Catherine Kelly's character is not guilty from the start. At the beginning of the episode, a new piece of evidence emerges, proving that English teacher Sally Wright couldn't have murdered schoolboy Maddie Taylor. A photograph of Sally was taken on the day of Maddie's death showing that she was three miles away from the crime scene at the time of the murder. Sally is definitely innocent of murder. However, that's not to say that she didn't have the alleged sexual relationship with her pupil before he was killed by someone else, although she's adamant that she did not have an affair. It's clear that Sally took a special interest in handsome and vulnerable Maddie Taylor, who had a troubled home life. But does that necessarily mean their relationship crossed a line if it did? It's possible that someone murdered Maddie with or without Sally's knowledge, as a means of protecting her, and her then-husband, Sam, would make a perfect candidate in that case. Meanwhile, it's clear that Maddie's father, John Taylor, has an extremely short fuse and remains outwardly convinced that Sally not only abused his son but killed him. We even see him spying on Sally. Behind closed doors, however, it seems that he and his wife are bound by some kind of secret, no doubt related to Maddie and relevant to the investigation into their son's murder. And what about Sam and his new fiance, Karen? At the end of the episode, Karen initiates sex on the family staircase before ominously stressing that she would forgive Sam anything. But is it Sam who needs forgiveness, or is it Karen herself? Could she have framed Sally in order to steal Sam, for whom she has held a candle for years?